Alan Taylor again with Tailored Content. Welcome to another Friday FinTech Roundup. The price of Bitcoin this week went up when uh, Tesla, the car maker, announced it would start taking cryptocurrency for payment and purchased $1.5 billion of currency. On Sunday, the price of BTC was just over 38000 On Monday, after Tesla's announcement, it went up to almost 47000 before falling back to 44000 midweek. Yesterday, it shot back up to a new high of $48,400. CEO of Bitbull Capital, Joe De Pasquale, predicts that the price of Bitcoin will go to 80000 by the end of this year. A Juniper research survey reveals that more than half of U.S. consumers would consider a digital-only bank if they took a notion to change banks. Robin Hood is back in the news. This time, the brokerage is the target of a lawsuit by the family of a 20-year-old who committed suicide last year after seeing a large negative balance in his account. Insurance startup Lemonade is partnering with fellow InsurTech Bestow on an instant life insurance product. Shopify is now making its payment option available on Facebook and Instagram. And get this, Canada's central bank is quickening its adoption of a central bank digital currency. It's calling it the digital loony. That sounds crazy to me. Pear Street is launching a socially conscious real estate fund called the Evolving Neighborhood Uplift Fund. The acronym spells ENOUGH. And with that, that's the FinTech News this week. I'm Alan Taylor with Tailored Content. Send your news to me at alan at tailoredcontent.com. And if you're looking for a content writer, here I am. Look no more. I'm not just a pretty face. Anyways, click the like button, subscribe, and share me with your friends. See you next week.